definitely not how I, I want this week to go. So by 2010, technically mid 2010, MacBook Pro died on me this past week, and I don't want to be overly dramatic here with my dark lighting and things like that. But it is a first world problem, and it, it's also at the same time a problem that when it's happened before, it's caused me a lot of stress because it's an unexpected expense. Even though it's a piece of tech, a device, it is a piece of tech that I had a a lot of hours spent on, hundreds of hours, countless hours doing mostly things that I always wanted to do, like these videos right here. So, not really one to dwell on the past here. I mean, I did have like a Monday where I went through the stages of grief and loss over this computer. I think we're gonna be okay here. If you're watching this video, I had to cut on that new MacBook Pro. So hopefully, <laughs> we've been all right. <laughs> So the difference between 2017 and 2018, the DDR4 is what the 2018s can take as far as RAM goes, and the keyboard has been not really reinforced, but its precautions have been made because complaints of dust and things like that getting trapped in the 2017 keyboard. Honestly, that's not really that big of a problem. I kind of know that with MacBook Pros, you can look at every single model and point at something and they've had some type of flaw of some kind in some way, shape, or form. My old one from 2006, that thing would overheat to the point where the battery would expand and it had those removable batteries and that was always a big mess. Which leads me to Apple's Apple Care program, which is supposed to be their warranty program. However, I am not sure it's totally worth almost 300 extra dollars and then 99 dollars depending on what a problem might be that you'll have to i guess co-pay if there's an issue i know the most expensive thing on these computers is generally a logic board and the screen so i'm almost sure that's gonna come close in the neighborhood of price if that should be a problem in the future with this particular macbook pro now i've had several of these this is my third one and where i like to send mine to a Guarantee this is not sponsored at all. It's a place called DTNT in Fremont, California. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've been sending my stuff there since 2009, and they're kind of the people that you send your Mac products to when nobody else can fit your Mac products. So they're the people that the shops will sometimes send their stuff to to fit for people or just recommend people go there if they're on the West Coast again. Not at all sponsored, but these guys have always done great work with all my Mac gear over the years. Complete side note here, if you're using Apple operating system, do you really need that icon bar at the bottom of the screen? Give it a shot taking that off of there and just putting it where it'll only pop up when you put your mouse in that area, you'll have way more screen real estate and you'll start wondering, why did I ever have that signature icon bar at the bottom of the screen all this time when trying to work? So that is it, that is my talk on the 2017 MacBook Pro and could I have mid-2010 map, but bro, you've done so much work, but we gotta get the work here. Subscribe on Facebook to our photography and video tips and tricks page. It is entitled The Shot Callers. Also, and you get an opportunity to subscribe to whichever channel you're watching on, which is very important. We're not gonna do a lot of cross, but like, this is really one of my, this is my first cross channel video this year. We don't do that a lot. If you're watching on Carolina's Photography, the home of those other photography tips and tricks, subscribe there. If you're watching on Jaeger Shots, subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com. Here's my guard dog, just chasing bugs in the yard. <laughs> he is trying to catch a giant something flying. Not sure what. <laughs>